Hey guys, it's Shadow Light Padin, and welcome back to my channel. Today is another digital art piece, and sorry if my voice is a bit rough or super soft. I currently have a cold and my throat really hurts, but I really want to do this recording right now. So, maybe during October, I mentioned I was playing a game called God Eater, and that was released at that time on Steam under the name God Eater Rage Verse 2. And God Eater Resurrection. Now these games I played uh, on the PSP under God Eater Burst. So I was a little bit excited when my friend informed me that it was being released on Steam with new content, updated graphics, and even the battle system's a lot more dynamic and it's really fun. So if you're not familiar with it, it's a Monster Hunter-esque game. You can see it's almost a ripoff, but it maintains a very anime art style as well as the storyline is very anime and it's kind of generic but I swear the combat is really really fun so this picture that I'm doing is like a semi fan art thing this is actually my friend's idea they told me this idea and then they said why don't you give a shot drawing that as well so I did so these are our avatars since you get to place an avatar in the game so the, my avatar is the one in the girl in the background with the short hair. The my friend's avatar is the one in the foreground with short hair as well. And the concept was to draw our avatars with our favorite characters. Mine is Dindo Amamiya, which is sort of the captain of the team that we join. And my friend's favorite character was Lindo's sister, Tsubaki Amamiya, who is sort of the operator. Uh, trainer person so this video turned out pretty long it when I checked out the footage it lasted 19.4 hours and I recorded every almost every step of doing this except for the pencil sketch that you see right now so it was 19.4 hours to finish so even if I super sped it up it really wasn't enough to try to compress into one video else I would have had a two hour video so, this video in particular is just lines of sketching, and it's pretty long and complicated enough, so I'll be linking at the end and in the description box the link to the second part of the video that contains coloring, uh, rendering, background, yada yada, details, etc. I'll try not to talk as much today since my throat still really hurts, and please enjoy the music for now. So I guess just to talk about our avatars for a bit, and I guess our playstyle. Uh, it's just the two of us playing, and then we have the NPCs fill in the rest of our party. And I am my role is primarily um, the quick multiple DPS striker. Uh, I'm usually the equivalent of the short blade. I'm a short blade user, so in MMORPGs. I'm the equivalent of like the dual blade users or the rogues or the the classes that don't really do super heavy damage but you can make several strikes to pile up the damage. So we also rely on things like stuns and slows and flash bombs and the like. And my role is also as the tertiary healer. Since both of our characters are the ones attacking, we usually bring along NPCs that are geared up to be healers. 
So if those healers die, I'm the one who tries to get them back on their feet. Uh, also, I'm the one who usually, because of my, I guess because of my my personality and my playstyle, I focus quite a bit on maintaining HP. So if my friend gets reckless and the NPCs are not doing a good job, I usually put down heal posts that the part can run to and heal themselves in while my friend is the one maintaining as much damage as possible. So my friend uses the long blade and this is usually equivalent to the standard swordsman that has a good balance between defense and agility. Uh, of course, I have some advantages like I get to stay in the air much longer, I get to attack from the air a lot, which helps me stay away from a lot of the ground attacks, but they're the ones who actually do some good amount of damage, even though my, that friend of mine uh, has tried all the weapons. If you're watching this video, you know who you are. Either way. What else? So my, my character is kind of character, even though there's really not much character to your character. Um, I characterize my character to be a bit serious in a sense. Uh, even the voice line that I chose, or the voice that I chose is um, somewhat irresponsible sounding voice. So I stuck with that. And the outfits I choose are usually dark colored, usually blues and blacks. And it's I only have the occasional white outfit in the game. So it's a lot easier when playing that to distinguish between the characters that I usually am wearing the darker colored clothes and my friend is usually wearing the, the lighter white colored or very colorful like red uh, color scheme. Really, there's not much to talk about given that these are our, our avatars. Um, and if I talk about the NPCs, they're a little bit spidery. Especially if you play as a reaction. Maybe I can talk about that a bit. Um, Lindo Alamiya is the team leader, supposed to be one of the best god leaders in the game, uh, according to the storyline, until your character replaces him. Um, he projects this playboy super chill dude persona. Uh, his main goal is to keep everyone alive. I guess that's where I got it from because in Burst, I played alone. As in, the entire game, I played solo, which ended up me dying quite a bit. But I did pick up the... I really did stick to the keep your HP up as much as possible line of thinking. So when I play alone, I usually take a long time to finish a mission because I'm focusing on keeping my NPCs alive so that they can keep me alive and then it's either I'm running or I'm healing from a distance and stuff like that. So let's talk about the piece in general. Um, the reason it take it took so long, and you'll see, in even in this this video alone, that since there are a lot of characters, there's a lot of work to do, and also I didn't want to get too lazy with the background, so I did spend quite some time trying to make the background somewhat okay and not just like a blob of color or some blurred thing that doesn't really fit. Also, since there are a lot of details on the NPCs as well, that took a lot of time. Yeah, it this this speed paint was not so much a speed paint. Uh, I had to finish it over several streams and several days, and it was a long, long work. Either way, I actually actually am pretty proud of how it turned out. It's not super perfect, but it looks pretty cool, I think.
so we are nearing the end of the video i hope you guys enjoy please click, click on the second video with the coloring and all that and i will see you there